Hello, this is a tutorial on how to add basic emote expressions to your VTubers in VTube Studio. I am assuming you know how both Live 2D and VTube Studio work, and you're just looking for a beginning to end process of getting started with sticker expressions. So the first thing you wanna do is add that drawing or image into your Photoshop file. I put it into a little folder to organize it. Then back in Live 2D, you just import the Photoshop file like you would when you're making any other additions. Go ahead and place the sticker where you want it, both on the canvas and in the deformer list. In my case, I'm gonna go ahead and put it under the head XY deformer so that it kind of moves with the body, but then also under a rotation deformer so that it doesn't get too squished. As you can see, this is moving how I'd like it to. So now the trick to stickers is we're going to add a new parameter that's going to work as a toggle for the sticker. Name your parameter and then set the range from 0 to 1. Set two keyframes on the parameter and then toggle the transparency so that at zero, it's 0% 0 and at one, it's 100%. Now it's gonna work like a button. On, off, on, off. Okay, so now save your file and export a new version for runtime. Here comes the fun part. We're gonna open up Live 2D Viewer, which should be in your applications folder next to your Live 2D editor. Drag your newly exported Mach 3 file into the window that appears. Now you wanna go to File, Add, Expression. Name them whatever seems appropriate. I know there's so many names and then hit okay. Now under the new expressions folder that was just created, click on the expression that you just made, find your parameter, and then toggle it to one. That's it, it's that easy. Save your model again, and now this is gonna create an exp3 file as well as updating your .json file. Now for the VTube Studio part. Load up your model file. We're going to be making a little button like this, but you can also make a hotkey. The settings for it are in the same place. In this case, you want to use screen button hotkeys, but if you want to use the keyboard hotkeys, you can just toggle the one above it. Let's make a new hotkey. Press the pencil icon and then name it whatever you'd like. Click Hotkey Action and then click Set Unset Expression. Then under Expression, select the exp3 file that you just created. Now when you scroll down, you can adjust the hotkey settings, including the number of the button if you have multiple. You can even change the color of the button if you like. If you found this video useful, please leave a like, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks!